These are kind of nice. This is a nice home. So welcome back everyone. It's another day. We are at another auction. In the world, I definitely bought that somewhere. Oh, that's a puzzle one. Huh. Man, a lot of plants. Wow. Going to the plant business. What the heck is this? It says something. Hibiscus. I thought that said hibachi. I was like, what the heck's a hibachi plant? Welcome back for another auction day. Hopefully you're going to buy some things today. A little bit of a drive, but Larry and the whole crew are here. So we'll try to find some things. I'm not seeing much. Uh, pyre, no, it's not Pyrex, it's plates. Older Tupperware. do have some gorgeous quilts which I'll show you I'll bid on them I don't think I'll get them so I already see two people here who buy vintage fabric vintage quilts especially which they're probably here for that These two are probably my favorite ones right here. Oh, this one's all torn up. Oh, that one's seen better days. Holy smokes. And that's probably the better side. They like to do that. Auctioneers always do it. They show you the best side. All right. Ain't much different on this side. You know, it's about a third of the side and same condition. But yeah, if you ever buy something from an auction, regardless of whatever it is, make sure to check it out. Both sides, if it's a crock, it's a pot, anything, check all the sides because sometimes this auctioneer doesn't do it, but I know some auctioneers will show you the best side on the front. Some will not even say, I, pretty much every auction I go to, Everyone always says, hey, there's a chip on the back. Hey, there's a crack on the back. I don't think I've been to an auctioneer. It says, oh, it's good. It's a good, good at whatever. And end up, it's not being a good one. I feel like in that regards, almost every auctioneer around here has done that. Just pretty straightforward with things like that condition.
two. Anybody else a two bit one dollar bid now two? You bought a one dollar bar number two thirty eight. All right, so, wow, wind's kind of picking up, but it's not that cold. Um, I ended up buying all the box lots, as always, but, like, not those. Those are already sold. I did buy this over here. Um, picked up this stuff. I know a lot of people request that I do more of, like, a recap and see what's in every single box. Got a nice old radio here. You got this ship that's kind of figuring itself out throughout time. I don't know what that might be. So I paid a dollar for this lot. Um, that was also gross, I think. I don't know how I'm going to do this. I guess it's over there. I'll just accumulate all my stuff. But yeah, bought all these lots. I'll have to go through and see what I really want to take. Hopefully no one steals my valuables. Uh, I paid a dollar for all of this that's right in front of me. I probably like another three dollars for the rest of everything else over here. You don't have to take everything, which is nice. So stuff like these punch bowls, and I have punch bowls over there I'm not taking. Take the silver plate. That's actually kind of nice in there. I like those. Made in a country far away. Be a lot easier if I just had boxes. I think these might be worth something. User's guide, maybe not. Probably should scrap that, if anything, and I'll take these and sell these, but I probably want to take that so I know what this goes to. If that makes sense. I don't know, they have numbers on it. Number seven eight. Anybody else at one seventy? Anybody want under sixty dollar bid now? One seventy. Twenty one, twenty one, twenty five, twenty five, twenty five, twenty five, twenty one. Twenty dollar bid now, twenty five in die. Pull the twenty dollars. Buyer number is two twenty one, two twenty one. You're buying the stereo unit, and how about a bit of ten dollars ago? How about a bit of five dollars ago? How about a bit of ten dollars ago? How about a bit of two dollars ago? How about a bit of a dollar bill? What about a one dollar there? Does anybody want that old stereo for a dollar bill? A dollar bill? A dollar bill? A dollar bill? No sale. No sale. You mind the other crate? Right here, folks. We're on that crate. I don't think there's a way to this one. And there isn't. That would have been on that one. Five dollars going that wooden crate. Two dollars going to wooden crate. A dollar bill there. A dollar bill there. Does anybody want that for a dollar bill? A dollar bill. A dollar bill. A dollar bill. No sale. No sale. You're buying all the gold clubs. They're all fiberglass. No extra uh -huh. shaft. And what do you want to have? All right. Kind of loud here. See what fits in here is if I just envelopes. Get well cards. Man, if you have that many get well cards, probably not good. Probably don't got a lot of good luck. Yeah, man, what we got here? Looks like that's about it. These might be. Waiting a country far away. So this is all the stuff I bought. I spent $15. There's some neat things in here. I'll do a little bit more recap at home when I'm unloading into the into the watchman to the warehouse. I don't need any of this other stuff though. It's, I know it all looks the same, but kind of have seen its days glassware I'll see if there's anything in here this thing's really sticky it's kind of not fun that's actually kind of neat. Oh, it's Acre Hawking, that's why. It's like I've never seen a Pyrox dish that small. It's like half the size of the other one. They're inside.
yours? Yeah, yeah. Okay, hurry up. I want to get out. Up. Okay. Dude, which one are you? You're not actually beat up? I can move right now. Can dude. you? Yeah, That would yeah, yeah. be great because you see, we're right there. We're oh, ready okay, to go. Yeah, we'll I'll just move pull right, right out. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Oh, there's the light. There's another light. And wow, we are in here. So yes, I do have lighting. Wow, what is that? Oh, that's one of those cave crickets. Man, those things are disgusting. I'll show you guys. Wow, it's, it's chilly up here. These things are like the worst insect of all time. Look at all them down there. Are they still? No, they're dead. That's a really small one. So sometimes they get like, their bodies are like three inches long, and then their antennas can get like, Pretty lengthy. That guy's antennas is probably like three and a half, four inches on that one. His body is only like a half an inch. Man, we got some weird critters up here. What? Oh, that's one of those Japanese beetles. Maybe we should have a day up here, just taco stacks at night in the warehouse. I would say if there was some way, and this is why I say you got to get these doors in here to seal off like bugs and stuff like that. Um, it's be a nice apartment, nice little house. It'd be kind of cool. Shift door, and then we're outside. This is my door stop. Oh, this is my door stopper. We got a goose. It's actually a trash picking find I found quite a long time ago, and uh, he never sold because well, he is completely shattered. So he's my door stop. This is what we got. So I guess I'm going to start loading up. I do have like just random. So they must have been like a butterfly collector because I got so much butterfly stuff in here. That must have been like their big thing. That's also one of those. So let's see some cool items in here. What do we got? So I bought, um, my total bill was like $15. Like I said, I mean, I didn't even look at anything on eBay. Uh, one time I bought all these different it was kind of like this. I'm trying to remember what the, the brand was. It wasn't Polaroid. I don't think it was Xerox. It might have been Xerox. Anyway, I bought them all at auction. There's a whole case. I spent $2 on the whole case. And uh, stupidly, each one of these, I think I sold on eBay for $35 a piece. And I, I don't know, I probably sold like seven or seven or $800 worth for a $2 investment. But the big thing here was it looked exactly like this. These kind of like old stock film. This is film ribbed. Um, any of this new old stock kind of like printer stuff or oddity items for electronics seem to have value. Those might not even have any value, but I do need to check it out. There's some vintage stuff in here. This was just in a row lot. I don't think I, oh yeah, I probably bought like three or four individual lots, which I assume they're probably buried in here somewhere. This was in a row lot. That's kind of cool. It's kind of like in that Robin egg blue that everyone loves. Nice vintage uh, little waste bin. This was also in a row lot. Let's try to put this somewhere. This thing feels chipped. Yeah, it's chipped. That's gotta get thrown out. So my warehouse kind of took a standstill. Um, I've almost completely filled this bottom shelf. As you guys see how nice that looks. I also realized, like, I was thinking about putting more cinder blocks out here, but I can't reach all the way to the back. Um, I guess maybe if I filled it in, that would probably work, right? If I just fill that in and then I can work from here, I can just slide. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll do that. Always an option. You know, oh, yeah, I heard a lot of suggestions with these uh, shelving units. A lot of great suggestions. I read tons of comments. Uh, one of the ones I probably agreed with most was ones that you kind of, like, drill into the wall. And they, like, they stick out. Um, and then you can put wood on top of that to make your shelf. I don't really trust my uh, my studs. In fact, I don't even know how many studs are behind there, if there's any studs or whatever it might be or how far apart they are. So that's why I figured that probably went, this door is, I don't know what's going on, but we got some issues here. 
All right, don't, don't. Anyways. So I'd like to show you guys some of my better finds, but I mean, you know, this is a problem that I run into when I do these recaps is like, I won't say I get late. What the heck? I wouldn't say I get lazy. This might have some cool things in it. I wouldn't say I get lazy with this kind of stuff. It's more of, um, I don't know. It's just, it's just a lot of stuff. And I don't know what people really want to see. I mean, I'll show everything. It don't matter to me. Uh, I'm not going to do that whole thing for this whole video, but we do have some cut glass in here. These are kind of nice. These are actually pressed glass, so I assume they probably, yeah, it's not even the same pattern. These are like diamonds, and these are stars. Um, these are kind of nice. Carrier toothpicks. Got some hammered aluminum as well. I spent a dollar for this box. This was, like I said, anything that kind of goes onto the auction block, they put it aside to kind of sell it rather than put it in box lots. I kind of buy for a dollar if it's like a grouping like this because I figure to myself, you know, something like this, somebody might give me $2 for the pair of these. Um, someone might give me a dollar for this. Certainly someone will give me one or two dollars for this nice uh, depression. This looks like depression glass. Uh, a little blue depression glass piece here. So, you know, if you figure $2 for this, I'll be oddies of everything else in here selling for a dollar a piece. I'll make my dollar back, you know? Um, and that's kind of cool because there might be one piece in here that I like for myself, for example. Like we have a whole class photo here. Class 1966, the Stonier Graduate School of Banking out of Rutgers. The School of Banking. Never even knew that was a thing. Man, the things you learn from just going to auctions. Uh, but yeah, I, I think it's just kind of fun to kind of go through stuff and look through stuff, especially when you don't really have that much invested into it. And then for myself, in terms of like a valuable, um, because I know a lot, some people like to, uh, some people like to watch these YouTube videos because they like to see the X's and O's of buying and selling in terms of like profits and numbers and all that. In terms of that, I mean, you really can't go wrong with something like this. Uh, but if you do like eBay and, and only do eBay, I'm not an expert. I mean, if you want to start selling this stuff, this is made in Japan, but there's really no marking on this. So, you know, maybe this is worth 15 bucks, but this thing can also maybe not be worth $2 or $3 online. So it's all an art. Uh, so yeah, we'll throw this in here. But that's going to kind of wrap it up in here at least. Uh, ow. I'm going to go ahead... It's actually pretty nice. I like that. I don't know. I have no idea what I'm really doing right now in terms of my setup. Uh, what I was kind of going with in the warehouse as of now, just because, as you see, I have not really made that much progress. Um, I've kind of just like put everything that needs to be sorted over there. And then anything that I know that goes to my flea market goes in here. It's box lot. It's pushed against the wall. It's stacked. And that's it. Um, but like I, like I said, I mean, it just it's just hectic right now. Today, actually... Fun fact of today, today is the final installment of a three-part video, or three-part day. I filmed three videos after I will conclude this video. I did the store, I did trash picking this morning, which I posted a while back, and then did my storage unit video right after that. Um, and then this is the final part of today. So, been very, very busy. Unfortunately, I have not been able to sit down in the warehouse and kind of just sort stuff. I didn't want this to happen, but I figured quarter four is here. It's going to get really busy. And then I think probably December, January, it probably won't be busy. So it might be too cold to sort, but I'll at least get the stuff in here and try to try to do some fun things and activities around here. So going to unload the rest of this tomorrow morning. Not sure. It might be a trash picking day. Uh, it's supposed to rain overnight. There's also a rummage sale going on in the morning. So we'll have to figure out what happens tomorrow. If I'm still movable, we'll be moving. No days off 2021. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. As always, if you guys enjoyed the video, smack the like button. Subscribe down below for more treasure hunts. There'll be plenty more in the future. And I'll catch you guys next time. Next adventure. Who knows what we'll get into until next time. Have a great day. Keep living the dream. Peace.